Let's look at how the conductivity of a solution will change after a chemical reaction. In each of, each of these two beakers, we are going to have a solution of strong electrolytes. In this one, we will have uh, one liter of one molar barium chloride. Right, so essentially we have one mole of barium chloride. And that's a strong electrolyte. So it dissociates completely. So this is one molar of barium chloride. So we have one mole of compound. But what we have is all three moles of ions. If we just don't care what the ions are, we just have three ions total. So we can say that because we have one liter, that the ion molarity equals three molar. Okay, and in this one, we have one liter of one molar sodium sulfate, which is also a strong electrolyte. It will entirely dissociate into its ions. So again, we have the same situation here. We have one mole of compound. but three moles of ions. So my ion molarity is equals three molar. Then what happens if I dump both of these beakers into this one? we're gonna end up with a chemical reaction. We have barium chloride, aqueous, plus sodium sulfate, aqueous, is going to form, so barium and sulfate are going to come together And if we look at our solubility rules, we'll find that this one becomes a solid. And then we have the sodium and the chloride left over, but that is aqueous, so we have two sodium chlorides. So what's that gonna look like in here? Well, we've got our one mole of barium and our one mole, oops, sorry, our one mole of barium and our one mole of sulfate. That's gonna be a solid sitting at the bottom there. And then we have our two moles of sodium and our two moles of chloride. So the following questions will be about predicting the conductivity behavior of this solution right here. Up here, we have, we have a decent concentration of strong electrolyte. So if we have our conductivity apparatus in that solution, 
the light's going to be bright. Same thing with this one. Your job is to predict what happens here. <laughs> 